name is Mary and today I wanted to share with you my top three tricks for making chore time painless or less painful than it has to be. Number one, work together. I have found it goes so much better when my daughter and I are working on the same thing at the same time. She's seven, just for reference. And dishes is what we start with, and she puts away the silverware while I'm putting away the rest of the dishes. Then we move on to laundry. She puts away her laundry and a few like dish towels and things while I put away the rest of the laundry. And then we take out the trash together and usually she'll take out the recycling to the recycle bin and I'll take out the other trash to the big trash bin. So just doing these items together is one of the biggest tips that has made this so much smoother. Number two is doing the chores at the same time daily. That helps both of us know what to expect and it helps us know we're not gonna skip it. Actually, even better than doing at the same time daily, I have found doing this right after the other thing in our routine has helped the most. Like putting it at the same spot in the routine has been the most helpful of all. So we do learning time and then chore time right away. And so um, I think that when kids know what to expect, everything feels a lot easier to them. So she expects it, she jumps up and she helps me with a willing heart. Um, number three is to add more slowly. So about a year ago, I realized that we were not doing chores together very much and it was stressing me out um, to try to get everything done and then try to take her on an adventure. She loves adventures. And I really love taking her on adventures, whether to the park or the pool or a friend's house or even just grocery shopping. An adventure is wherever we go together. Um, and she would be waiting around like, when are we going on our adventure? And I realized that it was stressing me out to try to cram all these chores in. Um, and I realized that I wasn't teaching her how to do any chores. And so we slowly started. We started with just the dishes and then later we added, okay, now we're gonna do dishes and we're gonna take out trash. Okay, now when we do the laundry, we're gonna do that together too. So adding more slowly is really helpful. And a bonus tip on this that could make it fun is playing music or racing each other. A lot of times she really wants to race me to put the silverware away before I can put the rest of the dishes away. So racing or music can also help to make it super fun. Okay, three chores that we always do together are dishes, laundry, and trash. And then occasionally I'll ask her to be my gopher. And I heard this from another mom and I thought it was so cute and just having a name for it really helps. So she loves to be my gopher and she'll run around for a few minutes putting things back where I ask her to put them. Three benefits. Besides the obvious benefit that your child learns to do the chores, number one, bonding time. So we get a lot more time together this way and we're either racing each other or we're laughing or giggling. We see maybe a bird or a squirrel outside when we take the trash out and we just have that extra time together. Almost always I'll learn something about my daughter or she'll, she'll just be chatting away while we're working together. So that's really fun. Not every moment is bonding time and sometimes there's complaining, but a lot of the time it's like, this is just adding in another, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes of our day that we're spending together. And then number two, I have been quite surprised, but the chores have really gone faster when we're working together. I don't know why I was surprised about that. I think a lot of people will tell you it goes slower if your kids help, but I have found that with time, it actually does go faster. I mean, I don't put away the silverware, and so that takes away a minute or two from the dish putting away time. So. Um, the chores really do go a bit faster, which is awesome because then we have more time for our adventures. And number three that I have really loved as a benefit has been that my daughter has less board time in her day and 
she's a little more enthusiastic to go play after chores are done. There's something about chores that just sparks the play mode in the child and she's just like, now I'm ready to be creative, I'm happy to go be on my own and make something and pretend something. So these um, tips and tricks have helped us to feel like chores are a great part of our life instead of a negative part of our life.